Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a vlog so you can look forward to a grocery haul, some cleaning, getting ready for people to come over, a Cairo appointment and me chatting about why I don't have a cleaning routine. So I hope you will stick around. it was about time that I actually showed my face on here so hello good morning <laughs> we are having people over today like I would have already mentioned or tonight so we did a grocery order to pick up this morning so I thought I would do like a quick little mini grocery haul in this video because who doesn't love a good grocery haul okay so as you can see not a super huge haul we got some sausages for tonight because we're doing like a barbecue style meal but without a barbecue because we don't have one uh almond milk was on sale so i got a bunch of those we were running out of tomato sauce again for tonight and then i got two drinks again for tonight so this is just cola and then this is a lemon lime bitters mineral water and then we've just got some orange juice back there and i'm gonna use that with the coconut water and try this adrenal cocktail thing i've been seeing on instagram Apparently it's really nice. I love orange juice, so it seemed logical. <laughs> and then I got some soy sauce because we are out or almost out. Got some chicken, which was also on special. And I'm gonna use some of this to make some like skewers for tonight as well. So I'm gonna do that after I've shown you guys all this. Got some toothpaste, new toothbrushes because we definitely need those. Some dishmatic brush heads because we're out. <laughs> I keep going to say cause this, cause that, but it just, we didn't have it. So we bought it. <laughs> and then we got two pears. I keep wanting to try and eat pears as a snack and I never actually do it. So I only got two just to see if I'll actually eat them. And then I've got some bananas, some strawberries, some bread again for tonight, some garbage bags for packing because we're moving. And I got some laughing cow cheese, some water crackers, cause we've got some brie in the fridge that we're gonna probably eat tonight. And then some vita wheat for during the week. So again, not a super huge haul, but a good one nonetheless. I have just sort of restarted Weight Watchers and put down the candida diet for a while for my mental health. I just really needed that. The candida protocol that I was on, treatment protocol, was very restrictive and my mental health was just a bit done. I did three months of it and just kind of went, okay, I need a break. And Weight Watchers to me is way, way more um, free <laughs> considering everything else that I've been doing. And I just don't want to do what I did last time I went off like a treatment diet and was like just blown away by all the things I could eat again and I started eating junk. So I'm mostly just using Weight Watchers to kind of keep myself on track with eating healthy food and not like giving into the temptation of eating all of the junk. So yeah. So after I packed everything away, I needed to separate the chicken out so I could freeze some of it. As you can see, I hate touching raw chicken. <laughs> Sparky! 
You're welcome. This marinade recipe kind of came from a pin on Pinterest and I ended up changing it to suit my own tastes but I'd never actually made chicken skewers or chicken kebabs whatever you call them let me know what you call them down below in the comments but I've never made them before so this was pretty fun honestly and they ended up turning out so so good I can highly recommend making these uh, basically, I just use some onion powder, garlic, ginger, soy sauce, sesame oil, and some salt and pepper, and that was it. So, highly recommend that. Okay, the chicken is separated, the chicken is marinated for the skewers. I am feeling tired already. I did not get enough sleep. <laughs> so I'm going to take a bit of a break for a second. I'm trying to do this more often because I tend to exhaust myself and do everything all at once. So I'm going to sit down, drink some water, maybe read my book, maybe journal. We'll see what happens. I'm just trying to like breathe, you know, take a moment in between everything. By this point I was crashing hard so I decided to make this adrenal cocktail drink that I've seen on Instagram. I'll include a link in the description below. And then I decided to have a nap because your girl was tired. I'm super nervous because I don't really know if I like coconut water but let's give it a go. Can't really taste the coconut water. That's not bad. I've been in bed for about an hour with a brief jump out of bed to answer the door because a package arrived. And I knew they wouldn't leave it and I didn't want to miss it. So I got out of bed for that, but I haven't slept. I still feel pretty tired, but not as bad. So I think I'm just gonna get up have some lunch and try and get on with the day because I have stuff to do guys. I have stuff to do. Let me go show you my to-do list. This is my to-do list. I've done like nothing on the list so far. I've, we've picked up the groceries and I've marinated the chicken. So I'm gonna make the bed while my lunch heats up and then go from there. suggestion to use ice cubes to water your plants because there are some plants that just don't like a whole bunch of water they're really fussy about their water and this way it's like slow release water it's been working pretty good also if you think you're gonna kill a plant but you really want one 
get one of these. It's called a polypom. Bit of a mouthful. But <laughs> I like didn't water this for honestly probably like two months. And like there was definitely some brown leaves. There's a little bit of damage, but it's still alive. I pulled all the brown off, it's still fine. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments down below that I'm not the only one who has clothes on their bedroom floor almost all the time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wear them again because they don't smell yet and maybe I only wore it for like a couple of hours or something and they don't need a wash yet and then they stay on the floor and then they do need a wash because they've been sitting on the floor. I need a better system clearly. If you have an idea on what to do with clothes that aren't quite ready for a wash yet, but they're not 100% clean, please give me your advice. And also don't pretend that you don't wear clothing more than once because I know people do. <laughs> Dinner time! Hey -o. Yay! Yay ho! You know that's not a chair, right? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Writing in my planner. <laughs> I mentioned I, I mentioned in my last video that you had started using your daily passion planner and we're loving it. Yeah, it runs out tomorrow and my new ones haven't arrived yet. Oh dear. Oh no. So I'm gonna be out without a planner for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. At least five days. It's okay, we can print Wait, pages. Sorry, sorry. At least four at least four days. We can print pages, it's fine. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, we are planning the few things that we need to get done before people turn up. Soak skewers? Yep. Tick. Nice! That is fine. Nailed it. Yes. Alright, well, I should probably get out the extra chairs before I vacuum them all. Would that yes. make sense? Yes, it would. Well done. Logical thinking. Thank you. I tried. Mm. And you would fail, but try. <laughs> the cat is sitting near his cat toy. That, that thing right there. It's just sitting there. Like a depressed animal who is starved for attention. Oh dear. Good morning! It is Saturday and I totally forgot to vlog for the rest of yesterday. I really need to up my vlogging game, that's for sure. But I kind of crashed at like 4 p.m. and Matt just kind of got the rest of the stuff ready that we needed to get ready. And then people were here and I was too busy having a good time, which I think is a good thing. <laughs> so yeah, last night was really good. I think everyone had fun, which is good. And now we are up bright and early, way earlier than I am okay with, to go to the chiropractor. So we are on our way, it's a beautiful morning, not that it looks like it through the camera, but I swear that sky is blue. Um, yeah, Cairo time, it's quarter past eight, it's way too early. We 
finish at the Cairo. How do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> Better. And we always go for a walk afterwards because that's a good thing to do when you've just had a chiropractic adjustment. So, we're off on a walk. There's a park like just down the road from the Cairo and it's really, really pretty. And so, there's crab apples in there. Crab apples, ducks, ducklings. Duck pose. That too. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go for a walk. Yay, walk. Oh, toilets, that's, that's great. found a little market uh, like I showed you and that was really cool and then we just came home and crashed honestly like all afternoon it is quarter past six in the evening now and I've just done my skincare which is why we're looking a little shiny but oh feeling refreshed I just wanted to like chat real quick about something because I realized because today I expected to have to do a lot of cleanup from last night, but the people that we had over were amazing, amazing guests. <laughs> They're sparky. And they were super nice and they like cleared the table for us before I could even really notice what was happening and like just, just made cleanup really easy and so we just put everything in the dishwasher and we were done. But at the same time, like getting ready for people to come over. It was a lot less stressful than it has been in the past for me. And I think there's been times where I felt like I should make a cleaning routine and, you know, do sheets on Monday and floors on Tuesday and laundry on Wednesday, like that kind of cleaning routine because it feels like, I have a cat here on my nose, sorry. It feels like every person on YouTube and Instagram has a cleaning routine and I was like, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I should have a cleaning routine. I don't know. But honestly, I just don't need one and they don't work for me personally with my body being a little bit unpredictable as it is at the moment. I can't always guarantee that every Monday I'll be okay to change the sheets or every Tuesday I'll be okay to mop the floors. So I just kind of always expect to clean something every day and if I don't fill up for it it's fine but when I do fill up for it it means I just get things done and honestly having a lot less stuff <laughs> has really helped that as well and so I honestly feel like I don't need a cleaning routine and I know that it's entirely possible that'll change like when we have kids and things like that but at the moment, yeah, I keep thinking, oh, I should make a cleaning routine. Maybe it'll make me more efficient, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm like, I don't need one. Like, I'm fine. Everything is fine. And I don't know. I don't know who needs to hear that. But just so you know, you don't have to have a cleaning routine. You don't have to do everything the way everyone else does it. Do what works for you. That's the main thing. Also, I wanted to really quickly mention, because I've like hinted at it throughout this vlog, that we are moving. So it is, I don't even know what the date is. It is the 9th of January when I'm filming this. We are moving in two weeks. All of our stuff is moving in two weeks. We get the keys on the Thursday and then we'll move everything on the Saturday. So that's really exciting. We've been here for, 11 months. Our lease is up in February, but with the timing of, of everything, it's like, you kind of have to move in that month before your lease is up anyway. So that's pretty much what we're doing. But I'm really proud of us for making it through this lease. And it was very much a, a good thing that we moved to where we are now. I might I might share where that is once we've moved. We did it just to just to try it out and see if it would work for us. We weren't really sure and it was such a hmm, I wonder if it'll work kind of thing for us that we just decided to go for it. 
and if it didn't work we would move again and that's what we're doing it hasn't worked for us and that's okay I'm really excited the home we're moving to is one bedroom smaller so this this house is a four bedroom I'll link my house tour up I think it's here no yeah I don't know it's one of these sides and I never get it right but I will link my house tour for this house up in a card it's a four bedroom it was 18 months old when we moved into it so it's very new it's very modern it's very nice but it has a mean for us. We really want a backyard. We currently just have like pebbly, stony stuff as a backyard and that's kind of it. And I want to get in on some grounding, on some grass and spend more time outside in a sun appropriate way for this pale skin. Yeah, so we wanted a backyard and we wanted an area that was closer to Matt's work and this is really not close to Matt's work and it was okay when we moved, but then COVID hit and shifts changed and public transport was difficult and all of that. So we're moving somewhere where he can actually get public transport to get to work, um, which will be amazing because I haven't had a car all year. So I haven't really been able to go anywhere even if there wasn't a lockdown, <laughs> but I'm really excited. So I will probably do a little bit of a moving vlog just because I love the memories so much and I think they can be kind of fun to watch as long as they're like reasonably fast paced. So I'll do a bit of a moving vlog and definitely I will upload a house tour. I'm really excited that house we're moving to is, as I said, three bedrooms instead of four, but there's a lot more property, like a lot more outside than there is here. and. It's a bit older, but we like that. Like it's not like too modern. So exciting times, things are about to get really, really crazy. But yeah, it's gonna be really, really good. So I will bring you guys along for that. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was a little bit of a random vlog. I appreciate you guys. If you did enjoy the video or even just like my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video because it really helps to support my channel, which is really important when you're a small YouTuber. And if you haven't already, I would love to have you subscribe and join my little random tiny corner of the internet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.